Well, the drama you getting from the female situation, Willie P, is simple, man. You you're on one side of the fence. When you when you tell them the truth or you tell people the truth, Willie, you tell them the truth, and the truth hurts. But see, the thing is, you you kind of hard to explain, man. You put like this: you only speak on the dark side. Um, I'm not saying that you don't see any good in so-called black women or women or whatever. I don't know, but if you don't never talk about the good, you know that's all you're gonna be known for is talking about the bad. So, um, you know, all I can say is that it's not you. You're not the only man that that talks. Um, about black women in not such a positive light. There's a lot of other people out there that do it too, but most of these people listen to you. So in saying what I just said, it appears that you're the only one that's talking down on black women. But in actuality, they got us all grouped up. So it just looks like you're the only one talking because we're so grouped up. We're actually supposed to be worldwide. Now, if we're worldwide, if we're truly worldwide on this internet right here, how can we keep on bumping into the same people? I mean, is it, are we grouped together because we're black? Are we grouped together because um, we don't talk on the same page? Are we grouped together because uh, you're positive, I'm negative, I'm negative, you're positive, you know what I mean? I, I don't know how that works, but I know for a fact you're not the only person that talks in the manner that you do. Um, in several of my videos, I say some of the things you do, but I also say videos talking on the goodness of black women and women in general. There's not too many videos of Willie Pete speaking good about women. So, there you have it, you know, and saying that, Willie, that's all I can tell you is Willie Pete is the only man, in his opinion, what's the big deal? I mean, it's just it's just your opinion, man. And like I said, you know, you have that voice and you have the power for people to listen. And, and when people listen to you, they they, t they, tone, they, they, tend, they tend to zoom straight in on you and they tone everything else out. So when people are watching you, man, they just fall into your words. And the weak-minded people, and, you know, I know you don't set out for anybody to believe every word you say because... Like you like like I said, this is only my opinion, my perspective. Like you just said, it's only one man and his opinions. What's the big deal? Well, that's the point. You have that charisma about yourself for people to listen to you. Once people fall into what is perceived to be you, they can't get out of it. They can't get out of the words you say, and therefore it's magnified. Like woo. You can obviously tell, man, when you were gone. Once they took your name down, you put your name back up. Everybody rushed to, you know, they rushed to subscribe to the new Sergeant Willie P. You know, and, and I tried to give you a hint. You got to change up a little bit or else you're going to get the same drama. And I know there's some good in some of these people you see. It's just not magnified because of all the negative shit you've seen from sisters. Speak on the good, and then you change the way they think about you. But if all you got is the same old negative shit that they see and hear, and they know it's true, and you have to you have to talk on what is true, deep truth. I'm like, you know, yeah, she might act like a this and a that, but she didn't always act like that. She acts like that because of this and that, because of the overwhelming uh, need to fit in. Like I was saying in one of my other videos, uh, you know, I was talking about women shouldn't put out so fast, you know. And young dude flat out told me, nowadays, oh, gee, it ain't like that. If they ain't putting out, they ain't getting no action. And some of these women, like you say, aren't attractive. And then they give you excuses like, I'm not attractive because they ain't no good man. Well, like I've said in several videos, all you're going to do is get a good man and change him into the good man that you want him. And then once he don't become the good man that you wanted, and he's all fucking damaged goods, it's like, oh, this motherfucker ain't no good no more. 
me and you discussed this in several videos. And the bottom line is this, man. And and this is the last time, man, I'm, I'm even going here because the truth is the truth. Once these women, quote, black women or women who want a man, desperate women. I ain't going to say, I'm not going to say that every black woman is desperate. Once you get a certain age, there's a cert, certain sense of uh, desperation that kicks in. Now, you know, things aren't happy in Hayden land over here at my house. Things ain't 100% happy here. But I'm hanging in there and she's hanging in there and we're trying to work shit out. But bam, if all of a sudden, bam, your boy is single. What the fuck am I going to look for? I've been with a good woman for the last damn near 20 years. Well, what am I going to find if I all of a sudden hit the market? You know, well, you know about me, man. You know, my job situation is sketchy. You know, uh, I make it do what it do when I have to. You know what I'm saying? And what's going to happen? What's going to happen? I'm going to end up finding some motherfucker that's just going to want to be with me. You know what I mean? It's like, like I try to explain that. When relationships are fucked up and nobody's happy in a relationship, it's because this person can put up with that person. Now, you, on the other hand, Willie Pete, you point out the negativities about certain black women. In other words, when you take off somebody's clothes, you expose them. And you have exposed a large number of black women, thus making the good women look weak because of their weaknesses are embroiled in the shit that you've exposed. Saying that, when you break it down even further, now, okay, he done told about this and he done told about that. That's one of our secrets. You see what I'm saying? That's like when I speak on some men sometimes. They just say, I be Hayden. It's my fucking last name is Hayden. What the fuck am I supposed to do? So I'm breaking it down like it is. I'm not just siding for the women. I'm not just siding for the blacks. I'm not just siding for the whites. I'm siding for all people from all different perspectives. I look at my situation. I say, damn, you know, you this, you that. Then I look at it from my wife's perspective. Then I look at me and I'm like, damn, dude, you this and that. Then I look at it from my son's perspective. Damn, pops, you this and that. And then I look at it again from my perspective, looking back out at myself disappointed when I'm not doing something right but I don't get on the internet and tell people how to do shit right when I'm doing shit wrong so what I tell people is don't do like I have done do better than me and like I tell people you can't change the person you with you need to change yourself to blend with that person so I know you understand me man these other people might not get this but you're not the only person telling the truth about anybody on the internet. Don't feel isolated because you got all this heat and this drama just recently. The whole heat and drama thing is because of, it was a machismo thing, man. It's like it's like when, when you got a group of people all talking on the same subject, everybody wants to be heard the loudest. And at that one given point in time, you can rattle somebody's feathers in the wrong way. But... You had a brewsting. Your shit was building up. Because you could tell in the way people would respond to you. And they wouldn't look at it from your perspective. They looked at it just like you talking shit to people. And all you trying to do is hurt people's feelings. But you weren't. You were trying to tell people from your perspective what you see. Thus, giving them a dialogue to talk about how they can better things around their community. Or at least tell the young ladies... Hey, you know what? That shit might be cute on a rap video, but this is real life. Real life is not a rap video. You don't have to be doing the booty dance on the way to the fucking bus stop in the morning. You know what I mean? Shit like that. So I understand, Sergeant, your video. But don't feel like you alienated. A lot of the bullshit hasn't caught up to these other people yet. You have that voice. And if you don't understand it, I can't tell you no more. I already told you a long time ago. But that's why you feel the way you do. It's because they singled you out because people listen to you. And right there, that's a flattery. They mad because people listen to you. If they listen to you, then you have to have something to say. Even if you don't have something to say. So it's all magnified. Mix some good with your bad, man, and you have it all good. Because they can't see you if you're saying something positive, all they're going to do is dwell on your negative. Man, thank you for the time, man. I know I blew your ear off. So um, go ahead, man. 
keep doing what you're doing. Let your enemies flourish because they can't stop you, and you've been tubed.